Inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, is a broad term that describes a chronic or recurring immune response and inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract. You're probably more familiar with hearing the term GI tract, which is used for short. So in normal digestive function, food starts to be digested in the mouth, and then it moves down through the esophagus, into the stomach, from there it moves into the small intestine, and then into the large intestine, or the colon. So digestive juices break down the food into macromolecules and nutrients that can be absorbed into the bloodstream, and then from there, these nutrients are carried to all parts of the body. The water and solid that remains after the nutrients are absorbed move into the large intestine. Here, most water is reabsorbed, and eventually the solid waste that is left is passed out of the body through the anus. This is called a bowel movement, and the entire process is what we know as digestion. So the two most common inflammatory bowel diseases are Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, or UC. The trigger for both these diseases is traced back to autoimmunity. Now this means that the immune system attacks its own body. In a normal immune response, this natural system of defense is supposed to attack foreign cells and substances, not the body's own cells. But in people with IBD, the immune system mistakes food, healthy bacteria that normally live in the intestines, and other materials as foreign substances. As a result, white blood cells are sent to the lining of the intestines where they're able to mount an immune response, and that's what causes chronic inflammation. Unfortunately, IBD becomes worse over time, and it can cause severe GI symptoms that can affect the patient's quality of life. So let's get a little bit more specific about each disease. So Crohn's disease. This disease can affect any part of the GI tract from mouth all the way down to anus, but it most often causes inflammation at the end of the small intestine called the ileum and beginning part of the large intestine. There can also be normal healthy bowel tissue in between patches of inflamed bowel tissue. That's one of the telltale signs. And the entire thickness or all layers of the intestine are affected by the formation of fissures or tiny tears in the tissue. And this forms a cobblestone-like appearance. Now ulcerative colitis. So you see on the other hand, this inflammation is usually limited to the colon and rectum. Patches of healthy and diseased bowel is not seen, as I had previously mentioned, is seen in Crohn's. The entire colon is diseased in UC, however. It causes ulceration only in the innermost lining of the large intestine. And as the lining of the intestine becomes inflamed or ulcerated, it loses its ability to process food, waste, and absorb water, as we talked about earlier in normal digestive function. So this is what causes the UC patient to have loose stools. In the next video, we'll dive in to the symptoms and signs of IBD.